As someone who is a firm believer in the need for gender equality in this world, I have to say that gentlemen, it is only fair. Hey guys, welcome back. A few months ago I made a video called Things That Girls Can Do That Guys Can't. It was a video full of ridiculousness and if you haven't seen it yet, don't worry, I'm going to link it on your screen somewhere here and also in the description box below. Make sure you check it out, a lot of people seem to really like it. But I made a promise in that video and I keep my promises. Which means, gentlemen, it's your turn. Here are five things that guys do that girls don't. Number one. Man spreading. Despite its name, this is not something that you ever, ever want to have on your toast. Ever. For anyone who's ever been in like a waiting room or on public transportation, you have guaranteed witnessed man spreading before. This is that moment when a guy sits down and spreads his knees so far apart that he takes up not only his own seat, but the seats beside him as well. Please, sir, could you pass the man spread? <clears throat> and we do this because it's more comfortable for. So, if you didn't know what manspreading was, now you do. And please, for the love of all things good and holy in this world, do not try to figure out what the difference would be between creamy and chunky. Number two, superpowers. We possess an ability to sit on the couch for three weeks straight doing nothing but eating ice cream and watching Netflix, only to get up, go to the gym once, and feel the need to get rid of our entire wardrobe and start again. And why do we feel the need to start again? Let me tell you. It's entirely because that one workout was so effective that our biceps are now abnormally large and we need new shirts. I think there's even a name for this superpower, but I just can't put my finger on it. One of the most popular things that guys are known for doing is turning any illness at all into a life-altering ailment. Maybe you've heard of it. It's number three, the man flu, or as it's medically known, Manfluenza improvisovis. If you've never experienced this firsthand before, it's hard to understand the type of punch it packs. But it's pretty much like wrecking ball to the face, man flu. Pretty much even. Now, luckily, the man flu isn't terminal. There are two effective treatments. The first treatment is letting us complain for the first 48 hours uninterrupted. And the second is our mom's cooking. And it's not a preference thing, it's science. And we can't talk about science without talking about anatomy just a little bit, which brings me to number four, cursive peeing. Having the ability to stand while we pee, it's pretty great. There are very few things that are more empowering to a man than being able to clearly write your name in the snow. It's like putting your signature on the planet. It's kind of like you're saying, this is mine now. And last, but certainly not least, number five, the dial-up. As a lot of you may have noticed, we can think of absolutely nothing with very little effort. And I'm not talking about the deliberate calm that comes with meditation. No, 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 no. I'm talking about a void that is not unlike the vacuum of space. Yeah. When someone asks what we're thinking about and we say nothing, we are in no way trying to be secretive or mysterious or passive-aggressive. We're actually just not thinking about anything. Our brains are kind of like AOL from 1995. By the way, if you didn't know what that sound was, I can pretty much guarantee that you have homework in your 10th grade math class tomorrow. You should be studying. And those are five things that guys do that girls don't. I am so excited to say that for the second time this week, I get to offer an on-camera thank you to another supporter of this channel. So, Nicole, thank you for taking the time out of your day to help ensure the growth and development of this channel. Oh, it's so appreciated. Thank you so much. And if any of you would like some information on how you can support this channel, I will leave a link to my Patreon page in the description box below. If you'd like to check it out, that'd be great. If you don't want to check it out, that's okay too, because I'm still going to make videos for you to make you laugh. If you liked today's video, let me know by smashing the thumbs up button and join the conversation down in the comments section below. If you'd like to follow my other social media, take a look in the description box below. And if you're new here and you haven't done it yet, consider subscribing. I make videos every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Sunday, and it is totally free. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and for hanging out with me today, and I will see you 
very, very soon. Bye.